This is when I don't miss the Appalachian Trail, when it starts raining. <laughs> Yep, fresh ground's coming. Yay! Hat, hat, away, away, day by day. <laughs> Where'd that come from? Like super wide. We are heading out. It's 8 of 5 a.m., a little bit later than I had hoped. Some of us take longer to get um, ready. Sorry, I had to change a poopy diaper. Oh, that is not the only reason you cannot <laughs> hide behind that for your entire life. <laughs> Sure, I can't hide it. There's Am I going first. Fresh ground right there. Oh, oh. Trying to make this turn up. Oh, did we forget something? Uh, you can see it's raining today. And we're actually going to try and go someplace new that we're trying to figure out how to get to. There's Naunton Hollow Lake. And when it's raining out here, we don't like really want to go out and cook in the rain. But if <laughs> Hikers are hiking in the rain. There's nothing better than rolling up to some warm, nice food. We have umbrellas. Umbrellas. Oh, uh, we have umbrellas? Yep, not today though. All right, we got a situation here that we're gonna hit this thing. Fresh ground is sawing down this low branch. Oh. <laughs> oh no! No, no! This is a trickier spot. The ground's not level, it's raining. And you can see there's the trail right there. We are, I'm walking on the Appalachian Trail. There's the white blaze. And fresh ground, his setup, it's called the Leapfrog Cafe. So we do seven steps. He has this like van totally customized. Like these things here, he built on here. Well, that's to like to like hang tarps by. So he's And that's for backpacks up there. This is This is where he sleeps. At the moment he has chairs on it. <laughs> that's this his is, memory foam mattress. This is his stove that he built. That's all his like storage, just like food and all, I don't know all this stuff. He used to have a teeny little van though, so this is an upgrade, oh, he said. Yeah, little car. You wanna go do an axe murder in the morning? <laughs> you just ratchet it tight. That's pretty much it, and we'll tie the front off. So last year, everywhere you went, you had to find sticks this length. I did. What, what changed this year? I'm smarter. <laughs> <laughs> he built all these things himself, like metal fabricated them. We are all set up. Eden, what do we got there? A giant pancake? Oh. Hey. It's supposed to be three. Okay. So. <laughs> we just had our first hiker show up. What was your name? Posse. Posse. And you said we have other hikers coming? Yep. Yeah, about an hour behind. All right. That's good to hear. The water's boiling. Fresh ground is, what is he doing? I'm camera shy. <laughs> what? Camera shy. <laughs> How are you doing? You got your rain jacket on. Cantaloupe. What? Cantaloupe, that's right. All right, there's course one right there. Let's do that first. Wonderful. Okay, and this gentleman here is thinking about hiking the AT? Me, no, I, my wife wants to. My boys, my son did it for the first time. And uh, so I'm here to like, Investigate, basically, okay. and see what it's How, all about. How's your investigation going? I like it. It's nice. It's 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 definitely. I didn't expect this type of. Yeah. It, you know. It's really wet and rainy, and um, I asked Fresh Ground to set up a. Tent thing for me, Flea, and Rainier. So this is what it is in here. Just collect moss to make a big carpet. It's like really soft. I'm just gonna hang out in here. Who are you guys talking to on the phone? Pee Wee. Oh Pee Wee, a hiker from last year. Okay. Bye. Oh bye. Oh bye, Rainier. 
Oh, it's yeah, amazing yeah, how much yeah, it takes to finally feel full. You but I finally feel full and it's how much, awesome. How much did you eat? Um, probably seven or eight pieces of the sausage, two pancakes, mixed fruit, and a cup of coffee, and a banana, and uh, cupcakes. <laughs> This thing is awesome. It heats up twice as good as the heater I built. It really does. So well, I'm glad that, um, yeah. that I chose today. It, it really is awesome. Call. Okay, for those of you it guys. Works, it works just like an alcohol stove. When this thing gets going real good, it pulls air in the bottom, and you'll see the flames coming out of those holes. Isn't it amazing yeah. when it's going full yeah. speed? It is pretty cool. Stove, right? Sorry, I had Great. to say that. <laughs> is it got, is All right, I've, I've said this the last two or three days. This is the last time I'm going to say it. Solo stoves. Uh, we told them we we're coming out here. We said, hey, send us a free stove, and I'll make sure and film it. They're not paying us or anything, but it's actually been awesome and working great. So thank you, Solo Stoves. Yes? We, we need to go hit the monster down there and down there. You're going to go hit the monsters? Yeah. Okay, you go do that. I'm going to stay here. So we fight for them? You can, sometimes. For dinner, I made homemade Alfredo sauce, and Fresh Ground is helping us with his fancy fast boiler, make some fettuccine noodles. That's going on back there. It's called a boiler. <laughs> Not a boiler. What do you think? It's hard out here. It's hard out here for a hiker, right? <laughs> Each day goes by, and I wonder why she sent someone new just to make me blue. But her and her man, but have fun while they can, cause I'm out of this place, and I find her face, I'll show her what's what. While kicking her butt. <laughs> we are back at the cabin and we brought some hikers with us tonight. All right. We in it? <laughs> We're in it. Mm -hmm. So we are in a house with eight Crawfords, six hikers, I think there's six and fresh ground sleeping in his van. Yeah. And we have had one hell of a week. We have. That was a good week. But I wanted to spend a little bit more time with this guy here because he's a dear friend of ours. And if you guys have been around our channel or seen our videos, you know more of the story, but some of you don't. And you don't know what goes on on the Appalachian Trail with this thing called trail magic and, and what even like hiker life is mm -hmm. like. So I wanted you guys to hear from Fresh Ground, probably two things. One is like, what's your story and why are you out here? Mm -hmm. And the second is like, why hikers? Or what do you think about hikers for someone like to explain to them like, you know? Yeah. So five years ago. Okay, so, uh, well first I hiked, a AT. Oh sorry, pause. Yeah. I just want you guys to know, we have a full like a full interview That's right. video about this. So we're not gonna get into it fully, but I'll put the link to that below if you wanna see the full interview. So this is like a summary. Cause I did hike in 2012 that got my interest in this. And then from there, I kept getting woke up in the middle of the night, two words in my heart, feed hikers. From there, end up going to Woody Gap in Georgia. Uh, this amazing thing happened where I had a great time. And then from that, I felt another thing was put in my heart and that was to love the hikers unconditionally, no matter what they believe, live, or you know, whatever. We, we, we're out here to feed them and love them. And that's pretty much it. So I've been, I did that in 2013 for two and a half months, 10 day setups, 
And then six So setups. you'd go to a place yep. for 10 days and 10 just days. feed all the hikers that came in. And yeah. one of the reasons why I wanted to mm -hmm. share, for you to share, mm -hmm. was we just did three days. Yeah. I am like worn out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're out here for six months. Yeah, but my setup's different than yours. Okay. Let's give them that. I do trail magic. The Crawfords do trail heaven, <laughs> is what I call it. Way, way more elaborate. With eight employees. Yeah, and, and all natural, all organic. It was pretty awesome. But, uh, you know, I just have evolved into this efficient way of feeding hikers. Minimal amount of money. And that worked great in the, in the car. But then this year we have the van, which allows me to sleep in a van, which, but it also, uh, you know, uses a little more gas, but put a rack on top and it's, it's been pretty amazing. It's allowed us to really change the, the, the ministry in a way, right? What I do. But you're just like feeding people. I mean, mm -hmm. for six months. You gotta have a passion. We've talked about this. It's a lot yeah. more than just feeding. I saw them when they first started. You get these hikers in and they just gather around and it's a social time for them. It's a time for them to relax, put their guard down and just really make connections, make bonds. They're like really vulnerable in a unique way, which I think really makes for yeah. deeper relationships with other people, like even mm -hmm. just the hikers. Yeah, it does. And their passion for food. I mean, even we have six people sleeping on the floor in this cabin Yeah, just to be under a roof. Yeah, it's hard to explain to people <laughs> outside of the trail <laughs> the connection that we quickly form a family bond in a way. Yeah. Uh, com it's very complex because it's a common goal. It's you, you invest into it money and time and effort. Uh, and you're right, you're vulnerable going in, not really knowing a lot of things, and you kind of discover it together. We're careful yeah. not to tell them how to do it because part of being a hiker is learning what works for you. So we're careful about it. We give them advice, but we try not to tell them what to do. Yeah. We give them options, right? Yeah. Except for food, then we try to push it. Yeah. <laughs> this guy, no options on food. <laughs> we had a two corn dog minimum yeah. Yeah. today, which I learned yeah. from this guy. I mean, I've appreciated a lot of things about you, but some mm -hmm. of the things have been you know, growing up religious, uh, there was a lot of talk about loving people, Yeah. but the loving people was a lot of talk. It was like the yeah. way you love people was by telling them what about doing wrong. heaven <laughs> or what they're doing wrong, wrong. or yeah. don't be gay, or you should be married, or this or that. Mm -hmm. And what I've seen from you is just just feeding people for six months. You, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I see you have conversations with folks if they want to have a conversation, but yeah, you yeah. don't insist on any conversation, period. <laughs> No, my faith is personal, um, and I don't think any human can change my heart because I've had miracles happen in my life that I love to share. But um, yeah, I, I feel like I've been called to do this, and I feel like this that sustains me. You know, in, yeah. In a nutshell, it sustains me. And I think the other the other way that you've impacted that I, I actually want to talk more about tomorrow. There's this whole emphasis on giving back to the trail, you know, mm -hmm. and I don't think it's why we're here. We got a lot. Right. But we're not paying down some debt. Right, right. I feel like this is just the place to be. <laughs> and I feel we can love people. I feel like we get, we connect with our people out here and we feel loved out here. Yeah. And I see you operating in a way where you're not trying to pay down some debt. That's not why you're out for five no, years. No. Give them back. But isn't it an amazing journey? I mean, I saw the transformation of your family and a lot of people followed along on YouTube, yeah. of course. But uh, you don't get to see a lot of the stuff that really happens, the, the, the three days, four days in the rain, in the snow, and Ugh. the hardships, you see a little bit of it, but to experience it, uh, it just changes you. And, yeah. and the love of people, the bond we make, the degenerates. I mean, we wish they were here. We talked about them. I invited the trailer them. park boys. Yeah. I mean, we really miss y'all. Hops. But hops, yeah, we, we are so, I don't know, maybe it's all the senses create these memories, but they're so vivid. We have laughed so hard for three days. Well, there's a there's a common sense of accomplishment and desperation. Yeah. And yeah. what was cool for me was as hikers, we got this, you know, and we found our fellow hikers and we made our way into that community. Yeah. But it was fascinating for me to see someone on the other side of, you know, because there's the trail magic guys that drop off some brownies and Coke and they take off. Right. And I feel like you showed a different style to me mm -hmm. that I think is one of the reasons why we're out here and it's certainly impacting when we showed up, where we showed up and why we're doing it the way we're doing it was watching you do it. Cause one thing about Fresh Ground and we showed you some of his setup, but he, you take your shit seriously. Like yeah. you're not half-assing it out here 
tossing some people like well i represent we talked about this i represent hundreds of people you see me but i have so many people donating to me so i, I take it very seriously because I would do the same yeah, my, if I gave my money to somebody. You were doing it way before people gave you money, though. That's how. Well, you got to start with yourself. Yeah. If you're not, you can't expect somebody to do something that you're not willing to do yourself. You know that. You, you yeah. wouldn't ask your kids to do nothing you wouldn't do yourself. Yeah. You lead by example, right? From other stories, the Fresh Ground's first few years, he would start off with a couple grand, and just do it all on his dime. And if people put money in the jar, right. that he just kept on feeding them until the money ran out of the jar. This year, you ran because. People have come to know you. Well, we also want to be in compliance with ATC regulations, just to, just to make sure we're not in uh, you know in violation of any of their policies. So there's no jar out. Right. So we raised our money before we came out. And you have enough money to make you how far now? Do you think? Should make it all the way to Maine. I mean, we'll budget it, but uh, you know, I still have people that that come up to me and contact me personally and that want to be a part of that. But uh, you know, it's fine. We take what comes in and do the best we can. So with I it. want I want people that watch our channel to know how to donate because if you want to we, we don't push donations ever no, and, no, and fresh ground wouldn't even want me doing this but no. but if you want to feed hikers like this is one way you can do it mm -hmm. the money's not going to us the money's not going to you the no. money's going to just the type of stuff you saw the last three days how would they do that uh you can contact me personally because i can't ask or solicit donations or accept donations on the trail okay i think we posted that yeah, on the we'll link. post that again below but i mean <laughs> We're, we're set. Anything can come in extra. We can do more. You know that. Yeah. But we're okay with what we got. And we just want to reach the people that feel a desire. We're not trying to, you know, pull people into what we're doing. But if you feel in their heart, you want to be a part of this. That's what we're doing, right? Yeah. We're not, we're not begging for anything. All right. Anything else you want, yeah, you want I, to say? I would advise people, if you really, truly want to experience what goes on out here, come out and do what they did. Come out and do some trail magic on your own. You know, I, I would gladly uh, take your donations and try to be as efficient as I can. I've done it a lot. But to see the gleam in your eyes oh, and to see that you're tired, but you're very happy, our right? Ki our kids were pumped yeah. this week. And I would I would encourage you to do that first. That's what I would do. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, hey. Yeah. Thanks, brother. All right. Is that good? That's great. Uh, okay. Look at this lake yeah. view right here. It's so cool, right? Eh? Try and silence those of us who ask questions. You know what, again? We're the ones who change the world. Take good care of that. Any skip section. <laughs> What's going on with you? <laughs> I'm staying in the hot tub. You're in the hot tub? Hanging with the hot tub. Yes. <laughs> Hanging with hikers. Hanging with hikers. <laughs> Alright, can you say see you tomorrow? See you tomorrow. Tomorrow.